United States trophy team. Tom Penton, 22 years old, veteran of four six days. Dane Leimbach, 22 years old, two-time ISDT gold medal winner. Carl Crank, 24 years old, ISDT gold medal winner in Czechoslovakia. Jeff Penton, 21 years old, number two trials rider in the U.S. Bill Ewell, 23 years old, ISDT veteran and number three trials rider in the U.S. Jack Penton, 19 years old, ISDT veteran and number one trials rider in the U.S. For the first time in a 50-year history, the Olympics of motorcycling, the international six days trial is taking place in the United States. The best trial riders from all over the world will converge on the village of Dalton, Massachusetts to compete for the coveted world trophy. 10,000 people have turned out for the opening ceremonies at the Wakahonda High School to welcome the riders to the 48th International Six Days Trial. Music, pageantry, and guests of honor all applaud the riders as they parade into the stadium in their colorful suits, being led by the Dalton Girl Scouts, Czechoslovakia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, East Germany, Finland, France, Great Britain, Germany, Ireland, Italy, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Zambia, Switzerland. The last team to enter the stadium is the U.S. Riders, being led by the U.S. Trophy Team. Probably the warmest reception ever given the ISDT riders sets the scenes for the week's coming events and offers an opportunity for the U.S. riders to get together for one last picture. The Parc for May, the heart of the six days. From here, the riders will start and finish every day. Starting Saturday, it's time to get the machinery sealed. The U.S. trophy team is the first since they are the hosting country. Every machine is marked, so no parts can be changed, which is against six-day rules. This is the culmination of weeks of preparation. If your machine is not ready now, you're just out of luck. Repairs of any sort using replacement parts are forbidden. The machine will be paddocked from now on and at the end of each day with only 15 minutes in the morning and whatever time you may have on the trail to fix, tighten, and repair ailing machinery. For the next two days, over 300 machines will be sealed and paddocked for the start of the six days. As the riders are getting their machines sealed, cycle enthusiasts from all over the country are converging on Dalton to witness this Olympics of cycling. The Parc for May is loaded with riders, crews, and pits. The cycle exhibits are also scattered throughout the Parc for May. Vans, campers, and bikes pour into Dalton and the park and speak of the U.S. affluence in motor vehicles and travel. Over 10,000 spectators will be seen at some spots by the world's trials riders. In the entire six days, riders will probably ride past 100,000 spectators along the route. We are not going to cover this event day by day, but go to each thing unique to the six days. trails, the checks, and the special tests. This is what makes up the competition of six days. It's September 17, 1973. Hundreds of spectators are beginning to gather at the Parc for May to watch the start of the 48th ISDT.
At 6.45, the first riders are entering the paddocks, getting their machines ready to start the six days. Italian rider Fausto Oldrati has the honor of being the first rider out as he kicks his 50cc Galera to life. The 48th International Six Days Trial is officially underway. The starts at the ISDT look innocent enough, but high tension and pressure is in the heart of every rider. Will his machine start after sitting for two days? Will it start after two, three, or five days of constant beating? Will he have enough time, 15 minutes in the morning, to make needed repairs to his machine? Will he start within the one minute start schedule or lose valuable bonus points to his score? If you're a foreign rider, what lies ahead in the unfamiliar countryside of the U.S.? If you're a U.S. trophy team rider, will you be embarrassed in front of your peers? Let's watch the trophy team riders leave. Yes, the start is a state of mind. Unlike any other sport, you're standing there by yourself, kicking a machine with 1,000 eyes watching you. This damn piece of metal must start, or you are the center of embarrassing stares and comments. Boise, Idaho is underway for the ride of his life. Tom Penton fits his goggles and is off. Jeff Penton kicks his machine into action for the most frustrating ride of his career.